And here are the lineups. Murray, Bilbao, Latoza, Gutierrez, and Lazaro for us. Iko Tanglai and Fernandez, Chaworski, Santana, Herrera, and Coons for the Toyota Super Corollas. Iko Tanglai drawing first blood. It's two to nothing. Sonny Chaworski. Fernandez has it. Against Lazaro, yes. And Joe, it looks like Toyota starting out with a very strong lineup. Iko, Russell Murray against Paul Herrera. Russell's going to be the key for them. As you pointed out, Joe, when he scored those 61 points, they beat Toyota. 13. Here's Murray. Firing off Jaworski. Well, you know, Iko Tandoi has a ball club that is capable of beating any team on any given night. 10-4. Six-point lead for Iko. Lazaro, how the, in heaven's name he got that in, I'll never know. Donnie Ray Coons to Mon Fernandez. Saldana, beautiful fake. And 13 left in the first period. Here's Lazaro. Blocked by Fern two blocks in a row by Fernandez. I'm sure Ico is going to try to key on Mon Fernandez. He's been playing very well and he's been getting stronger as the season goes on. Some say he might be the MVP of this conference. Well, if he does become MVP, it's about time. Fernandez, yes. Gutierrez. Fires on a screen by Lazaro. Bingo. They've been displaying awesome firepower from outside, but they can they sustain that? Saldana. Just a great move by Saldana, backing his way into Russell Murray. Well, Abe King has done a pretty good job containing him so far. Jaworski is in a row by Toyota. Murray. Lazaro. Yes. Brings it down nice and gingerly. Juan Fernandez. Oh, taking advantage of this mismatch with uh, Lazaro. He's been making off from the outside, and his ball club is moving the ball well. And sooner or later, Iko Tandawai is going to get called from the outside. Well, Russell Murray's got uh, Tandawai back the six point lead at 23 17. Saldana. And. Russell Murray rams it down his throat. Let's see. Johnny Ray Coons making up for Saldana's humiliation. He picks up 3,000 in the first quarter. Yes, one of the most foul thrown. Gets it right back and makes it the second time around. But you can't afford to have a guy like that sitting on your bench. You've got to put him in the ball game. Zaldi Latosa with a looper to Bilbao gets it. Mananzala, yes. Well, Mananzala has one of the best jump shots in the league. Francis still has to warm up his hand. Look at Bilbao sprinting down court, leaving Arnaiz completely behind. 34 27, 44 seconds to go. Jaworski. Coons making good on the miss by Jaworski. Air ball. The save by Abe King. Arnaiz to Jaworski. Jaworski succeeded in distracting him. Well, nobody's going to distract Jaworski. Players. Russell Murray against King. Davy Youngo. Rising to the occasion, literally speaking. Frankie Lim against Arnaiz. Nope. Arnaiz now. Yes. Look at Anais. The first one back on defense gets the rebound and converts on the layup. End to end. You call that a great transition player, don't you, Steve? That's the word. Latoza. Jaworski giving it to Fernandez. Got away from Latoza. Velosa, number 15 on his jersey. Francis. A triple by Francis. Marquez. Frankie Lim gets a screen from Marquez. The rebound to Abe King. Very authoritative rebounding by Abe King. A rejection by Davis. Russell Murray. And off the boards. I have a feeling that Freddie Webb has picked two sacrificial lambs for Mon Fernandez, and these are Zandi Latosa and Lazaro. I think they're both overcooked, Joe. <laughs> Frankie Lim is left open. The bank is closed. Lorenzo going for it. 
Here's Murray. Got it off, King. Fernandez. Oh, he's got Lazaro on him again. It's counted. Marquez. Galloping down court again against Lorenzo. He got it in. Four left in the first half, a steal by Marquez. A deft dribbler, this young man, Lim, gives it back to Marquez. Gutierrez with points. Okay, quickly now, here's a rundown of the individual scores for the first half. Topping the Ico Tandoy scoring slate is Russell Murray with 16, Latosa with 10, likewise 10 from Gutierrez, 9 from Yango, Marquez contributed 7, 6 for Lazaro, uh, Jimmy Mananzala with 4, Mike Bilbao, 2 points along with Frankie Lim. On the other side of the fence, we find uh, the Toyota breakdown. The second half, by the way, is underway. Okay, here we got it. Ramon Fernandez, who top scoring with 18. Francis are nice with 13. Donny Ray Coons, 8. Jaworski, likewise, 8. Saldana, 7. Abe King, 6. And Florencio, 2 points. The score right now, 66-62. And the second half is half a minute old. Sonny Jaworski has the ball. Arnie Twadlis is seeing action for the first time tonight. He was completely sidelined for the first half. A triple by Francis. 66-65. Here's Francis going for a one-point lead for Toyota. That's five straight points for Francis Anaya. Let's take a look at the lineups for the second half. Murray, Bilbao, Gutierrez, Latosa, and Lazaro for Igor Tandwai. Here's Sonny Jaworski. Inbounding. Second half is now two minutes old. Abe King. The low post king. Bow against Francis Arnaiz. Gutierrez. You can see that Eco Tandawai is a composed team. They play with boys. They're not going to panic and they're going to continue with their game plan. Fernandez. Again, humiliating Latosa. Working on Murray and having only two fouls. Got away from King that time. Very nice from the corner is futile. Russell Murray, look at this big guy dribbling that ball. Gutierrez. Fouls now for Ikutan Dwight against only one by Toyota. Arnais trying a triple. Yes. I think that's his third of the evening, Joe. He has nine points from the three-point region. Instead of fadeaway by Gutierrez. Unproductive. Three on one. Coons. Well, what made that play possible was a great outlet pass by Mon Fernandez. He got the rebound and looked up immediately. Third period. Russell Murray. The double team and the beautiful rejection by Donny Ray. Just give me another two feet, Joe. <laughs> All right. It scouted him. Lorenzo on him. Murray and a. Oh, I thought for a moment it was a beautiful block by King. Maybe we can take a look at that again. For a moment there, I thought it was a clean block. Not completely. Well, it, uh, he might have got part of his hand on it, Joe, but he was also leaning on him with the body. Point. Francis are nice. Riding the bench right now. Juan Fernandez inside heavy traffic. And towering Russell, above them all. Russell Murray got a piece of that basketball. You can see Russell smiling, and the shot still went in. And that was a costly turnover. Beautiful pass by Jaworski to Kunz, over to Saltania. No foul whistle blew on that play. And here is Marquez, yes! What a great play by Frankie Lim, rejecting that basketball. He's a very strong ball player, Frankie Lim, holding his ground. 99-94. Saltania, yes! Grand slam play by Toyota to cap the third period, giving them a seven-point lead going into the home stretch, coming their way in just a few moments. Look at Mo Fernandez's statistics this evening. He has 12 rebounds, four block shots, six assists, and I think about 28 points. 29 points now. 102 to 96. Fourth quarter is half a minute old. Russell Murray 
Passing to the wrong guy. Laposa blocked again by Jaworski. The Big J is going to go for it and he won't be denied. 104 to 96. Counter basket by Marquez. Matching Jaworski's stride for stride. Lim with an interception. Marquez was going to do a repeat. Nope. Murray follows up. Coons getting away from Latosa. And Iko Tanduay definitely is back in the game. Gutierrez. And there's only a basket separating the two clubs at 104, 102. Another two-point game in our hands. Sonny tries a triple. Yes. Joe, this has got to be one of the best games we've seen all year. Capacho has finally appeared on the hard court. And just to <laughs> inaugurate his presence, Jaworski sinks the bank. Webb. In his place, we have Bert De La Rosa. So the backcourt men now for Ico Tanduay are Bert De La Rosa and Marquez. And we have a grand slam coming to Russell Murray. Ico Tanduay, time left, 8.08. Juan Fernandez. Eli Capacho is the guy on him now. Let's see. Ooh. The patented Mon Fernandez shot. De La Rosa, Murray, four on two. Gutierrez. Uh, Bilbao pushing it up. Murray against Jaworski. The shot is counted. I, I think they might be calling an attentional on that, Joe. It takes a look at the shot clock. It says nine seconds. He's going to make his move now. Off Francis. Made it. And Murray's got something like nine points in a row, Joe. 123, 120. Murray has 46 points for the game tonight. Fighting ball club. And now it's even arguing uh, third place with the uh, Toyota Super Corollas. That was Donnie Ray Coombs. So, okay, they've got to put this ball up. Jaworski. These last two minutes brought to you by Lipovitan. 125 to 120. JV Youngo bumping into Fernandez. Gets a second try. Got it. Great determination by the Eco Ball Club. By Francis Arnaiz. They got it into Murray. He does the double coverage. And again, we have the foul whistle. Arnaiz collecting his fifth foul and the 16th foul for the Super Corollas. A cerebral player. Murray making sure about that first. It's a one-point game now. And every every play down this stretch, Joe, is so crucial. We've got a stalemate, a 125 with 59 seconds left in the game clock. This is the 12th deadlock of the game. Juan Fernandez. 13 seconds on the shot clock. He's double teamed. Saldana's open. Yes. Okay. Mike Bilbao inbounding from the midcourt line. The referee says we got to do it nice and easy. Arnaiz is on Bilbao. Murray. Whoa. Ho. That was a very bad break for Iko Tandwai. 36 seconds to go. Toyota up by two. They can afford to chew up the clock now. They still have 16 seconds on the shot clock. Mon Fernandez. They only have to wait for the last second to take a shot. And then, oh, a great steal by Mike Bilbao. Redeeming himself. De La Rosa gives it back to Bilbao. But they've got to rush matters. 19 or 17 seconds to go. A near steal by Jaworski. Yango, they've got to put that ball up. Murray, yes. We've got a tie game. 127 all with 10 seconds to go. Nice inbounding Jaworski. Nine seconds left. Are nice. Francis! And he just won it for them. Two seconds to go. A gallant effort by Mike Bilbao. Francis are nice. 
believe it. They called him Mr. Clutch before. I guess it's time to call him Mr. Clutch again. That was a very difficult shot to make. You made it on the last two seconds, and what a way to end the ball game. A three-point shot in the last two seconds. We are giving your team a victory by three points. <laughs> I cannot say anything. You'll have to do all the talking. Well, as you know, we were trying to work the ball around, really, and whoever was free had to take the shot. Actually, the instructions were if we didn't have a good shot, we just freeze the ball, you know, and go for the overtime instead of missing it and might be a turnover. But, well, since, you know, I felt that I've been hitting the three-pointers, this I think is my fourth for the evening, so I said, why not? I was free, so I took it, and thank God it <laughs> entered. <laughs> well, you were really playing terrific ball the whole night. At the point when you were down by eight or nine, you came into the ball game, you hit about two, three-point shots, and uh, you, you know, that brought the auto back into the ball game. Now, Francis, I wanted to ask you one question. How does it really feel, you know, you have the ball in the last about 30 seconds, you're just eating up the time and then you lose it on a miscue. Uh, how does it really feel on, on, a, on a situation like this? Well, the, when you're in the ball game, you, you really don't, you know, you really can't feel bad right away, but I guess after the game, if, you know, that costs you the game, you really feel bad about it. Well, in other words, uh, you, know, you, don't, you don't let your emotion show. You have to no, keep your, your trust and in that instance, when it happens, you just have to get back into the game. You can't just, you know, wonder, you know, I mean, make your mind, let that thing worry you, really. Okay, that was a very beautiful game, Francis, and I'm sure you'll be celebrating at Kikos.